Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing pot rolls in my Instapot. Well, you know, it's my crock pot, but it's still an Instapot. So I'm gonna be using a, and I just noticed I made this mistake. Onion soup mix, beef broth, onion powder, garlic powder, and some ranch, and two pieces of arm rolls. So my first step was to have my crock pot in saute, so it should already be hot. I'm gonna go ahead and brown the sides of my meat. The sides, sides and front and back of my meat. So you're gonna hear the sizzle. Can you guys hear that? That means that my crock pot was already ready. I did go ahead and put some, some vegetable oil which is already up there in the pantry. And I went ahead and put some onion and onion powder on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it brown. Can you hear that? Can you hear the sizzling? Can you bring the camera closer so they can listen to that? Right there, can they? All right. My little camera guy is eating Cheetos at the same time, so he's gonna try to multitask. It's not that brown, so we're gonna leave it there. In the meantime, while it's browning, I'm gonna go ahead and open all my packages. Got the onion soup, beef broth, just opening all my containers. All right, you guys can see it's a little bit brown on that side. Careful because there's some oil jumping everywhere going crazy. Be careful guys when the oil is <coughs> Ooh, I wish you guys had smell of issue because it smells good. Alright. So the first piece of meat is already fresh. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the side. And I'm gonna go ahead and brown the other piece. Same technique, onion, garlic powder. Okay, so now we're gonna be checking that our meat is brown. Ooh, can you come and see it closer, son? Can you guys see it? It's kind of hard to get them. You see how brown it is now? So we're ready. I'm gonna go ahead and put both pieces. Can you go right there? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the onion soup. And you can hear all the sizzling, all the sizzle going in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add some cream of mushroom. Woo! <laughs> that looks like you jelly. It looked like that blubber thingy from Hotel Transylvania. I'm gonna go ahead and be adding some beef broth. Beef broth. But you don't wanna discard none of this cream of mushroom that is still in here. So I went ahead and add some of that. 
Don't ask measurements because I'm just eyeballing it. You can see right there. And over here, I am cutting the onions. I want some chunky sides onions. Are you getting the onions, son? How I'm cutting the onions? Mm -hmm. Look, she has onions, Pete, guys. I'm She's cutting, cutting the onions them. in chunks. And she has all her ingredients that she already used. So I'm just gonna go put these carrots in here, move them around. Okay guys, so I went ahead and add some potatoes in there, in with the carrots. Both cameramen left, so I'm doing this video solo. So, what we're gonna go ahead and do now is turn up the satay, <clears throat> and then we're gonna put on the lid. Here we go, just make sure we put it the right way. There we go. Make sure you put the nozzle. And this morning the lid fell, so it broke. So I know that's the nozzle right there. <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and put it on manual. And my manual to me is beans and chili. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it for 37 minutes. All right, I will show you how my pot roast comes out.